All right. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you might be in time and space. Uh, can you share the sky, dude? Back for uh, another. We I was a little ambitious yesterday, and I thought we would get to Cancun, and we didn't. We made it almost, uh, almost there. Uh, let me see if Bush Talk is working. Any of this stuff is working today. Automatic scene switcher on. Uh, uh. Well, it's switched over, but it's on, uh, it like loses its information. So when you use the automatic scene switcher and you switch over the window it's using, it's confused. So we are here and I thought we would make it all the way out to there yesterday and we did not. So anyway, I've just picked up a job here in Neofly which takes us to an airport over here somewhere, a lot closer to Cancun. Once we get here, we're gonna start skirting down the coast, and we're gonna start, uh, I guess this is Guatemala. You know, I've never been down here, and I suck at geography. <laughs> so we're, uh, we're gonna keep going south. And uh, I apologize for not taking you know, a, a faster plane, this is the, the, the best plane to use for making money. So I definitely wanted to keep trying to make, uh, wanted to keep making money uh, in Neofly on the way down here. So we're all set up and we, our next airport, we can do our hangar here, the job we picked is going to MMDN and it's 117 miles and we're gonna get paid 13,000 for it. Already topped up the engine, and we gotta get already got the weights already set. And this is the airport we uh camped at last night. Just this uh, tiny little airport out in the middle of the plains there. And uh virtually in my head, it was a nice time last night. Nice and, and nice and quiet, right? So today, uh, I'm going to switch it up a little bit today. I'm going to play some country, the country station on pretzel instead of the, the traditional Latin. Because they're starting to repeat a lot now. We'll do country today. If there's anything that you want to hear, I mean, it doesn't really matter. We don't have to stick to a particular genre. I don't want to be too stereotypical. Just say, well, because we're down here, it's all going to be Latin. It doesn't really matter. But um, All right, so... Let's turn it on. Let's get up in the air, and we're gonna get going to our next destination. Destination, and then try to get to Cozumel and Cancun uh, as fast as we can. All right, let's get into the cockpit. Oh, 
enough active pause. Got everything. Get an elevation set. I saw Garmin on Twitter this morning talking about their new smartwatch. I'm like, come on, I don't mind color coding for elevations, but I want a screen that shows me elevations. I want, I don't need to see every airport, every VOR. I mean, if I can change everything to show me all that, please, can't I see elevations? Please give me a screen. That one probably be good. And are we set in here? We are set. MMDN, yep. All right. Mexico, you are a beautiful country. Wow. Ran out of runway. Have a safe journey, pilot. That's some load you have there. That's what she said. That mountain range right in front of us reminds me of my home. The uh, front range in Colorado Springs. That looks like Cheyenne Mountain. But very strong winds yesterday. Looks like we might have some slightly stronger winds today as well. Very pretty. Very nice day today. All right, let's put the separator back in. On the autopilot. Set nav. That flight level change. In case it doesn't take nav, I've noticed that sometimes when you turn it on after it's set up, it doesn't always immediately like lock on to your next nav point. Seems like it might be, but you can always enter it again. There we go. Flaps up still. Flaps down, I should say. There we go. Yep. So this is a cargo run that we're doing now. You know, Neofly has illicit cargo runs, but I didn't want to be that stereotypical. We're going to South America and we're going to be doing illicit cargo transfers. I'm not really happy with them with that. They're like, illicit cargo, and what are we delivering? Pizza. Uh-uh, that doesn't fly for me. Not in the uh, few conspiracy world. Not in this day and age. If you're saying you're going to do something illicit, you just say it's something illicit. You don't specifically say what it is, and you sure as hell don't say it's pizza. So... The guys over at Neofly just laughed about it. I'm like, come on, guys, change it up. Don't. This is before they released it. 
Like, please don't make it pizza. Do you know what that implies? And they're like, ha, 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 conspiracies. Ha, ha, ha. You know what? Up yours, guys. Up yours. Two fingers. The whole fist. Up yours. You have no idea what I'm talking about. You're better off. Ten minutes after the hour. Just tuning in. Kenny we're in Mexico. We didn't make it to Cancun. We're heading that way now. Going to get to the coast. We're in east, uh, southeast Mexico. Territory we've never been before. And then we're going to start heading. Uh, we make it. We'll uh, start heading south into Guatemala. I went to school with a young lady who was from Guatemala. One of the most stunning ladies I've ever, I've ever known. Just, ooh, butter. Butter. One of those where you regret, you know, because when you're younger, you get embarrassed by things and you don't want to say things. And I should have told her that she was butter. I had an opportunity. And I didn't. Dummy. Are we still climbing? Did I not? Okay, good. We're at 5,000. All cold. It is in all cold. And we're bouncing around quite a bit. Uh, 24. We're getting gusts. A lot of gusts. From 20 to 28. But the good news is, is it's behind us. Look at our speed indicator bouncing all over the place. But again, today, the good news is, is the wind is our friend today. It's pushing us. Hundred and three miles to go. So we're, we're making really good time. Don't need that on. Don't need you up. There is one point of interest south of us. It's archaeological ruins, but we haven't been able to see anything. There's also some waterfalls that we're just gonna pass. Probably actually divert, try to make these. I don't know if we'll be able to see them or not. A series of waterfalls. Found on the Chiapas River uh, in the Mexican state of Chiapas. Yeah, so this is south of us. Uh, about it, basically 45 degree angle from us right now. The Cascadas de Agua Azul are a series of waterfalls found on the Zanil River in the southern Mexican state of Chiapas. They are located in the municipality of Tumbala, 69 kilometers from Palenque, near Mexican Federal Highway 199. These waterfalls consist of many cataracts following one after another, taken from near the top of the sequence of cascades. The larger cataracts may be as high as 6 meters or so. During much of the distance the water descends in two streams, with small islands in the middle. The water has a high content of calcium carbonate and other minerals, and where it falls on rocks or fallen trees, it encases them in a thick shell-like coating of limestone. Wow. Local residents reportedly restored the waterfalls after the 2017 Chiapas earthquake has created a crack and led to a temporary reduction of the water flow over the falls. Well, that's nice they fix it. Uh, she mentioned 
that uh, it's near Palenque. And Palenque is another one of those ancient alien sites that they do mention every now and then. Oh, please, History Channel, please, Microsoft, Asobo, please hook up and deliver unto us a text message? No. Text message. Please deliver unto us. It's President Trump. Sorry, Mr. President, I'm live streaming. Deliver unto us an ancient aliens DLC. Maybe for the 2024 edition, if you're not going to do it for 2020. But we've got no pyramids. We've got no ancient sites down here in Mexico. And although it's beautiful, I would really, really, really love to have a reason to go specifically to those places and look around at things. I would really appreciate that. I've been begging for that all the way back to the Alpha. So several years now. I don't understand why they didn't do it. That's just such easy money, you know? In my opinion, I think that would be hotcakes. I think that would be a, a great DLC that many people would like. I mean, other than... <laughs> I've been talking about golf. That's been a real popular one. Uh, connecting in golf. Going back to the Will Wright mindset that you can use data sets for so many different things, yada, yada, yada. That you can put a game in a game in a game in a game. Right, you can and do so many things these days with the computing that they're doing. So the idea that we can land our plane and press a button, you know, can, like connecting to Unicom, and um, select the nearest golf course and have it take us over there, and possibly even uh, do a multiplayer uh, nine or eighteen holes with our friends. That would be lovely. You know, more activities to do on the ground. They're like, but it's a flight simulator. I know. But now we've got camping, and we're going to get careers, and we're going to get so much more that, you know, why? Why limit what we can do when it is so possible in this day and age? And Microsoft really does need to bring back golf. I mean, how often? I remember growing up with all the different Microsoft releases after, like, 95 you know, we always had uh, a new edition of golf that would come out. Yeah, and a new edition of Flight Simulator, a new edition of pin uh, Pinball, um, a latest edition of this and that. But golf was always one of them. You know, get there. Remember Microsoft playing golf? You get that audible. Get there. Yeah, I miss it. So that would be nice. All right. Still getting those 28 mile, 28 knot gusts behind us, pushing us to 150 knots, which is fantastic. All right, on to the next musical track. Let's go back out to the uh, drone view. Got our drone following us. Imagine a drone that could keep up with you. They probably do have them. But my luck, you know, you throw your drones out the window, keep track, and they're gone. Can't do 150 knots. flat all the way out. I'm going to come down. Lovely tune. Hope you're having a great day. Cheers. Raise my coffee to you. Cheers.
you there. It's true, it's true. Need a refill on my coffee. Come back to our little imaginary bar back here. The interior of my plane, if you've never flown with me before, I, I, it's all right, but I'd imagine I would want something a little bit more pimping. I'd want couches that face each other. And um, I want to use this area for a bar and snacks and Maybe some screens and get some custom lighting in here. Well, interesting place to put a land bridge. Got to get over there. Very low lying clouds today. Talking a lot yesterday about um, being instrument rated and not being able to see anything. Flying in low visibility conditions, how dangerous it is. That crashed yesterday. I sure hope with 2024 they're able to create social environments for us inside of our cockpit uh, inside of our planes twenty four minutes after the hour smoke if you got them it's okay to smoke in this plane we got plenty of good ven ventilation music for the moment there so what i meant by in 2024 i hope they give us social environments if they're able to it's such a stretch but really nothing is impossible today and i don't know if they'll be able to do it but boy that would be wonderful and i envision it kind of like this okay now all of my 
let's just say you have a hundred followers or more. Knowing you, you have like a thousand or more on Twitter, X, whatever you want to call it. Facebook, it doesn't matter. Your social media. You've got a whole bunch of followers. Or at least a whatever. You got followers. And they're not into flight simming. But they enjoy watching your live streams. They enjoy watching you fly. And they tune in and check out what's going on. Like some people might be tuning in now from X. I posted the uh, live stream over there and let everybody know that I'm doing my daily stream. And again, I'm controlling what they see and everything else. I would like an app for them, a Microsoft Flight Simulator app, a passenger app, right? And I want an app and they need an app. And what I'll do is I press a button on my app and it lets everybody know who uh, is following me, who has the app that I'm flying and they can press a button and they can assign themselves a seat. Okay, so you press the button and you let everybody know that you're streaming and your friends then press a button says, yeah, I want I want a seat right so depending on how many seats there are that's why i want couches um they can now spawn in as a passenger and they can have a their own they get their own drone camera and we can do uh, voice communications or we could do text communications and we can play trivia games and we can do sightseeing things and um uh i can do the drink thing you know just display like you know now serving drinks or i can play uh videos on a video screen or you know all the things that you'd want to be able to do with your with your friends as if they're passengers and um and then they can build up uh, frequent flyer points and they can spend those on avatar upgrades. Oh, one of my monitors just went out. They can spend those on avatar upgrades or they can spend them on... I was talking earlier in the old flight simulator, Flight Simulator X, when you would complete missions, you would get stickers like for your luggage that you could put on everything to show the different places that you've been. So they might be able to spend their uh, vanity money on, you know, um, items for again for their avatar, hats, sunglasses, t-shirts, shorts, you know, dress appropriately for where we're going. We're down in Mexico right now. You don't want to be wearing your winter gear. And uh, also, when you go camping, working with that group that's creating the camping group, the camping stuff. So that when you're out of the plane, you can all see each other and sit around the campfire and do cool things. So a lot more ways for any ways, any ways at all, for you to include your friends and followers in a fun way. And possibly even get them interested in Microsoft Flight Simulator and picking it up for themselves and learning how to fly. Like you make it so much fun, man. I want to learn how to fly now. I want to be the captain. Good. I'd love to. I'd love to fly along. I was hoping Hans and Henny, my two German friends, who um, pop in every now and then, uh, they've been teaching me how to do gliding. We've been uh, doing some gliding in the past, and we're going to continue to do some more gliding in the future. Um, I was asking them yesterday. You know, why aren't they live streaming? They should be live streaming and uh doing glider training and that way when you know i'm not i can go over there and join their live stream hang out with them yeah that's what i would like that's my wish list and the ancient aliens thing and the golf thing Making incredible time with these wins.
YouTube has just posted that we're not re it's not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. So it's not me. It's the, uh, you know, space time continuum thing, uh, the internet thing. It's, it's it usually happens. It usually goes away. If after a minute, this message doesn't go away, then normally sometimes you can just quickly start, stop and start your OBS or whatever streaming tool you're using and you know try to establish a better connection so we'll give it a minute here but uh, right at the moment oh that's not what I wanted oh change my want to change my aspect ratio I actually drug my screen, my flight simulator screen. I was trying to stretch out this YouTube window down here. Uh, huh, huh, huh. Come on, you. Refresh it and see what it says. Still says it's not receiving enough video. And, of course, it, it can. It is. It has. It, we Yesterday, without a hitch, didn't have any problems. So I'm going to go ahead and try that. I'm going to go ahead and stop the stream for five seconds and reestablish. And now it tells us we have an excellent connection. That's what we want. Normally I'm displaying the artist information, the song title, and the album art, but Pretzel's having uh, technical problems right now with the player app. 
doesn't want to log in using Twitch. It just freezes there, and I can't figure it out and haven't heard back from them, and I don't know what's going on. So for the time being, I unfortunately, I can't display album art and title information. She leaned to the side with her head held in her hand Sitting at a red light Thinking of a man He was strong and he was kind She was scared and she was blind The light turned green But not her mind his name the tears began to pour she read each line so many times as each word healed her soul that one good man was waiting You can always count on country music to hit you in the feels, you know?
Oh, I have got to get this mouse cord situation under control. So I've got this new mouse, and cool, it was a gift, but it's got one of those reinforced cables. I got like a metal band in the cable or something, and it's so stiff, and I just don't got to... It's, it's always interfering with my key touching. Now the wind is going to be trying to push us off center line. The wind is pushing from our front and left side. Yeah, it's pushing us over. I need to keep kind of pointing this direction. Try to bring my tail in to run a little bit better. Come on, get that big butt moving over. There we go. More tall trees at one end of the runway. That killed us two days ago. Flipped a tree on the way in. We're all over the place. Yeah, gotta be careful with these trees. I thought for sure we had it, but we did not. So be extra careful. Can't believe you're calling me after all this time. I did it again. I clipped the tree. Come on. Do you think it works that way? I let you back in. You better keep Unbelievable. thinking cuz I won't get hurt again. The only way you're coming <laughs> no back way. is gonna be on my terms. I'll never open up and hurt like that again. You wondering if I'll take you back with Oh, the shame and embarrassment of it all. Man. All right, so. What we'll do is we will use this tool. Uh, 
No, we won't. No late nights gone, your wandering days are through. I'm not gonna sit at home like I used to do. Oh no, and then these airports aren't. One of the airports isn't. I wish you stayed. Take you back in. Sorry, I'm thinking about all the options I have to choose from at the moment. If I set it up in the main menu, I can then teleport to the end of that and try to get it again. Son of a gun. Alright, so you go back into the map. Spent so many flights crying over you. Wow, I can't believe it. We snagged another tree. Okay, so we started today, so what you'll have to do, and what I am going to have to do, is look at where it sees us, or it saw us, at MMDN, when we first came in today. You need to set that back up again. MMDN, and uh, our mission, and hopefully it's still intact, it didn't, it canceled the mission. Okay, so doesn't really matter now and it's already deducted oh man we're gonna take such a big hit in money another thing you can do too is you can go back to a save down here where you log out I think where's it at where's it yeah where you log out Uh, settings. So if we could, we could try restoring. Will that put us? Oh my. Well, we'll just have to eat. Now, in this case, I don't know that I got a good backup. I don't know how far it would put us back. So, in this case, you just have to go with the realism. We've crashed, and the realism of it is is that we've now uh, lost our down payment, of course, because we've crashed a plane we were renting, and now we have to rent another one. But now, uh, um, I want to move us to where we were going, or at least... Might as well just teleport to Cancun at this point. <laughs> Feels like cheating. We're going to this airport here. MMDN. So let's set that as our departure then. And now we have to go and hit fly so it registers that we're there. Then back in NeoFly, got to go to the pilot and move ourselves now. No, that's where we were. Oh, I'm so confused. Yeah, one little mistake like that is going to ruin a whole day now this is where we took off from i've got it screwed up right was that the, the is that the tree that killed us right there right behind us or is this where we were at let me zoom out Yeah, this is where we were. Yeah, Campeche, M M E F. All right, so back to the main menu.
So M M E F. Terribly, terribly, terribly embarrassing. Right? Okay. It's like Neofly singing to me. The only way you're coming back is on my terms. Meaning we're going to pay through the nose for that accident. Because now we have to okay, spawn in. Now we have to change this from MMDN to MMEF. Well, that won't be too much, but to rent the plane again, we've lost our money and our deposit and all that. That was like 300 or more thousand. We'll find out how much it's going to be. We got an achievement for most used aircraft. Okay. All right. So now Neofly sees us at MMEF. Now we have to rent another plane. And we need another caravan. And it fi tries to find the nearest caravan from our location. And there's one at an airport, 0A72. I don't know where it's at. That's not the plane we need. We would have to go change liveries. I'm looking for this one. So I was wrong yesterday. I said it was $5 million plane. This one's $3 million. This one's $2 million. Well, $3 million. Okay, so now you gotta go hit this rent button over here. The deposit's going to be 288823 Price per day, 1444 There's two hundred eighty-eight thousand dollars, eight hundred twenty-three. That's how much we lost on the last plane, just now. Now we have to move that plane from wherever this is to our current location. It's been added to our hangar. This threw me off and throws off a lot of people that are new to NeoFly. They're like, "Why isn't the plane there? I purchased it. I rented it." Well, you rented it from wherever it was being rented at, but now you've got to move the plane to your location. So now you go to your hangar. Flashback, remind me of time. This, bring this aircraft to the pilot location. We were young and walking around by. $11,884. Oh. So now it's loading in, and now you have to reassign yourself as the pilot. Oh, so painful. Alright. So now it sees us there, and now sees the plane there. And I can hit this, and spawn in. Now it won't let you pick a job with the engine on. Oh. So about 30 seconds, the propeller will slow down. And Neo Fly will think that. It'll see that the plane's off. And now we pick another job. Well, we don't need to go that far, but we do want to go that way. That's taking us... Oh, 
We need to come. Cancun is up here. Okay. All right. That job will take us to here. Give us the job? He didn't say. MM55, we do have it. Alright, we need 2,121 pounds. Close enough, and put a little bit more in fuel. $1,436.60 in fuel. Uh, the job is going to pay us 21000 So, you know, we just lost a ton, but we'll Start making our way back up. Now we're back to nine million four hundred seventy-one thousand. I know you're thinking, well, you've got nine million dollars, man. What are you crying about? Um, because you can. You, the idea is that you'd like to own these planes, and uh, yeah, I could buy one, but it's it's cheaper to own them. But everything is terribly expensive, you know, and if you're thinking about, well, I'd like to have an airliner, I could do freelance and fly an airliner, but I don't own the plane. And you're going to, you're talking millions and millions and millions more dollars. And I'm cheap at the moment. Uh, when I was doing the alpha, I had, had the pilots. <clears throat> it hired pilots. And you have to pay for it now. And the uh, alpha and the testing... You didn't have to pay for it. And now they want to charge you 10 euro to add the pilots back in. And then 10 bucks if you want to add the airline feature back in. And if you want to change the voice to a mail dispatcher, 10 bucks. Cleopatra campaign, 5 bucks. Sky for Sim, yeah, this is free. But I don't use it much. Alrighty. Okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Where are we at? Five minutes after the hour? That sucked. And we're going to MMBB? MM55 
know what happened there. Hey. We have a haunted plane? What's going on? Baby, what's wrong? Dark. had that bug before. It happens more common when you start cold and dark. Yeah, see? So those are the trees that killed us coming in. They're probably gonna try to kill us on the way out. Come bags. Five. 
sun rising, a crispy morning dew, where I can feel loving and free. Yes, it's a country life for me. Beat you up a ballet, inexplicable in words. Most of morning poetry, singing of the birds. The quieter it gets, the more you hear their song. Spent time in the rat race, trying to make it pay. It didn't fit with my face. Had to get away to where the wind across the fields is like the rolling of the seas. Yes, it's a country life for me. Yes, it's a country life for me. Cozumel, Cozumel, we're on our way to Cozumel. to Mexico? If you have, where did you go? And what's your favorite thing to do in Mexico? <laughs> what is your least favorite thing to do in Mexico? Um, get kidnapped by a cartel. Running into cartel people all over the place. Paramilitary people all over Mexico. We need a more perfect world, Lord. We need a much more perfect world, Lord. Well, the only up thing up ahead... The only thing up ahead, off to our starboard side, is this. Colac Mall is a Maya archaeological site in the Mexican state of Campeche, deep in the jungles of the Greater Petén Basin region. It is 35 kilometers from the Guatemalan border. Colac Mall was one of the largest and most powerful ancient cities ever uncovered in the Maya lowlands. Colac Mall was a major Maya power within the northern Petén Basin region of the Yucatán Peninsula of southern Mexico. Colac Mall administered a large domain marked by the extensive distribution of their emblem glyph of the snake head sign, to be Red Khan. Colac Mall was the seat of what has been dubbed the Kingdom of the Snake or Snake Kingdom. This snake kingdom reigned during most of the Classic period. Colac Mall itself is estimated to have had a population of 50,000 people and had governance, at times, over places as far away as 150 kilometers. There are 6,750 ancient structures identified at Colac Mall, the largest of which is the Great Pyramid at the site. 
Structure 2 is over 45 meters high, making it one of the tallest of the Maya pyramids. Four tombs have been located within the pyramid. Like many temples or pyramids within Mesoamerica the pyramid at Kolokmu increased in size by building upon the existing temple to reach its current size. The size of the central monumental architecture is approximately 2 square kilometers and the whole of the site, mostly covered with dense residential structures, All right, is about I'm gonna, 20 square I'm go kilometers. There. Throughout the classic period, Kolokmu maintained an intense rivalry with the major city of Tikal to the south, and the political maneuverings of these two cities have been likened to a struggle between two Maya superpowers. Rediscovered from the air by biologist Cyrus L. Lundell of the Mexican Exploitation Chickal Company on December 29, 1931, the find was reported to Sylvanus G. Morley of the Carnegie Institute at Chichen Itza in March 1932. Wow, so a major, major, major superpower area of the past and I am overcompensating our heading bring it back 10 degrees alright back 20 degree. I've always had dreams of living large. Wearing shiny suits, driving fancy cars. Not me. houses up in the hills. Make enough money to pay my friends' bills. That'd be nice. I'm not into fancy things. Oh, I'm too close to my blue collar roots. T shirts and blue jeans instead of them suits. Got nothing left after an eight hour day. Cause my money's been spent before I even get paid. All right. I thought in the opening statement he said he was into all that stuff. Now I can sit here and cry me a river about all the things that didn't come true. Or I can put my nose through the grindstone, do anything I want to do. Yeah, because I want to be a rock star, drive a race car, be in a movie on the silver screen. Have a talk show, design my own line of clothes Have Rolling Stone taking pictures of me Riding a rodeo, playing the Super Bowl Have my own special on network TV For a touchdown and make my daddy proud But you know what they say Only in my dreams We were probably looking at ruins there all this seeing my name up in the chasing lights. These are avenues. There seems to be out with all of the biggest stars. Now it seems to me there's always some sin telling me what a can and can't do. More up ahead, all along here. Never gonna make it. None of them crazy dreams will come true. Yep. This was a huge place. Now I can sit here and cry me a river about all the things that didn't come true. Or I can put my nose to the grindstone, do anything I want to do. Yeah, cause I want to be a rock star, or drive a race car, be in a movie on the silver screen. Have a talk show, design my own line of clothes. Have Rolling Stone taking pictures of me. Riding for rodeo, playing the Super Bowl. Have my own special on network TV. For a touchdown and make my daddy proud. But you know what they say? Only in my dreams. Oh, come on!
race car, be in a movie on the silver screen. Have a talk show, design my own line of clothes. Have Rolling Stone taking pictures of me. Riding a rodeo, playing a Super Bowl. Have my own special on network TV. For a touchdown and make my daddy proud. For a touchdown and make my daddy proud. For a touchdown and make my daddy proud. But you know what they say? Only in my dreams. Only in my dreams. So we're on the outskirts of what used to be a superpower back in the Mayan day. It was modern. One thing to do on a summer day, head down to the river and float away. Stop by the deli for a tub of ice cream. Grab a cup or two, float down. Blow down stream. Blow down stream, just me and you. Blow down stream, nothing better to do. Let the river flow, it's time to go. Close your eyes and enjoy the stream. Grab a couple tubes, blow down stream. I've been working too long in the summer heat. Get out. Slow down. Oh, yeah, text a minute ago. Blow down stream. We can ride that river for a mile or two. What a perfect day for me and you. Yeah, things are never quite as bad as they seem. Let's grab a couple tubes and blow down stream. Blow down stream, just me and you. Slow down. Flow down stream. Grab a couple shoes. Flow down stream. Getting there. You know, the last one was just a little bit too sad. I'm familiar with, I'm starting to get familiar with the music on the different stations now. Oh, that one's it's a super tearjerker. I think we're ready to handle that. So we, we are entering the, uh, we're the outskirts now of an ancient Maya civilization which was compared to a superpower back in the day. This is their neighborhood. And it says something about they were always they were known by their emblem, the snake. So 
you know, immediately you want to think, were they good people or bad people? They got wiped out. What happened? I think people are people. We talked about that yesterday. Archetypes. You know, most people are people. Then there's the certain archetypes that get into power that kind of muck things up for everybody else. We're dealing with that today. Talked a lot of yesterday about history repeating itself. And, and um, how we're uh, doing the same things. You know, history keeps repeating. And a lot of it has to do with the archetype of the people that we put in charge. And the human condition only has so many personality types. Humans are really rather simple. And there's certain archetypes that when they get into power, they just, woo, you know, make things a real trip for the rest of us. play that audio clip again once we get a little bit closer need to change our heading a couple of degrees again we had some amazing scanning capabilities like LiDAR and or whatever the other technologies are that allow you to see beneath the canopy. Probably another 20 30 miles and we're at the heart of it
Goodbye, two. Good day to you, too. Goodbye, point two. Can you two one? Goodbye. Goodbye, right, Southern Line. i 
Great stuff on pretzel today. All right, so we are it. We're here. Everything that you're seeing around you. I mean, the the computer might be putting autogen buildings in here and structures, but we are now in the uh, well, basically according to the map. In the heart now of an ancient superpower neighborhood. Colic Mall is a Maya archaeological site in the Mexican state of Campeche, deep in the jungles of the Greater Petén Basin region. It is 35 kilometers from the Guatemalan border. Colic Mall was one of the largest and most powerful ancient cities ever uncovered in the Maya lowlands. Kolokmul was a major Maya power within the northern Petén Basin region of the Yucatán Peninsula of southern Mexico. Kolokmul administered a large domain marked by the extensive distribution of their emblem glyph of the snake head sign, to be Red Khan. Kolokmul was the seat of what has been dubbed the Kingdom of the Snake or Snake Kingdom. This snake kingdom reigned during most of the Classic period. Kolokmul itself is estimated to have had a population of 50,000 people and had governance, at times, over places as far away as 150 kilometers. There are 6,750 ancient structures identified at Kolokmul, the largest of which is the Great Pyramid at the site. Structure 2 is over 45 meters high, making it one of the tallest of the Maya pyramids. Four tombs have been located within the pyramid. Like many temples or pyramids within Mesoamerica, the pyramid at Kolokmul increased in size by building upon the existing temple to reach its current size. The size ah, of the central monumental architecture is approximately two square kilometers and the whole of the site, mostly covered with dense residential structures, is about 20 square kilometers. Throughout the classic period, Kolokmul maintained an intense rivalry with the major city of Tikal to the south, and the political maneuverings of these two cities have been likened to a struggle between two Maya superpowers. Rediscovered from the air by biologist Cyrus L. Lundell of the Mexican Exploitation Chickal Company on December 29, 1931, the find was reported to Sylvanus G. Morley of the Carnegie Institute at Chichen Itza in March 1932. Pretty fascinating stuff. I've been hearing about, you know, they're talking about the largest pyramid in the world so far is in Mexico. I'm like, that's crazy. I'm like, yeah, at the base of it, it's larger. And then they built on it over subsequent generations and made it bigger and bigger and bigger. And I've been hearing about it. So either that's it in the computer there at that location, or it's one of these locations that we're seeing in the landscape around here. So again, in the future, hopefully we'll get an updated Mexico and we'll get all our pyramids or history channel. Looking at you. Come on, History Channel. We want our Ancient Aliens DLC, which has all the cool Ancient alien sites, handmade and uh, explorable. Yeah. That's what we need. Okay, so we're here. We've, we've made it. And now let's... Uh, how far do we have to go back to get on to our job now? Do, 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 do. We need to get some altitude around us. Slowly, we're probably good, but just to be safe, just to go up a tiny bit more. All right. So now let's hit it back to nav on our dashboard and dial in using the direct two key again. Punch it back in, make it update itself. And realign, recalculate its vector, and we'll continue back on our way towards Cozumel, Cancun, and try to get paid and slowly recover from the the horrible damage from that crash earlier. Oh. oh. I need a smoke. I'm going to the back of the plane. You fly.
people of the serpent. Union of the snake. Definitely expect to see stuff built up on the tops of the mountains around here. Any place that's the highest elevation, absolutely expect to see something. Because security and defenses back then, you're there you're not. But absolutely, being able to over there, that ridge. gracefully transition between there and there unless the seat would be able to rotate that's goofy you gotta but try to stand between these two points <laughs> right
Hey, thank you, Carlos, for being our latest hour. Well, I always consider you guys part of the team. Uh, my latest subscriber, Carlos. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Near the top of another hour. You'd be able to make Cozumel and Cancun by the end of the live stream. Maybe.
songs all through the night. I sat and listened, eyes open wide, staring upon my whole world. And in my head about a rage, after the show we went backstage. I thought, why not? Let's give it a whirl. Jessie is the girl of my dreams, and now she's standing in front of me at a red dirt bar in Chicago. He had to hear what I had to say. I told him my feelings as I rehearsed. Then I sat back waiting for the worst, praying that she wouldn't walk away. But my words lit up a ride. And now, now we never said goodbye. Jesse still with me to this day. Jesse is the girl of my dreams. They all came true, or so it seems. How that happened, hell, I don't know. Folks, we go down in this jungle, they'll never find us. Quick teat, quick teat, quick tweet. 
well, if you're still calling it Twitter, uh, what the hell do you call it? A, a quick X headline? Argentina has implemented single-day voting, handmade ballot boxes, paper ballots, and photo ID required. Should the United States be uh, do the same? That that is a question at all? What is the first movie you think of when you see Steve Buscemi? Somebody thinks of the movie The Imposters. I don't even know what that movie is. I think that's the one where he sings and he cries. I'm not really sure. Uh, what's the first movie I think of? Uh, Airheads. Right? He plays a headbanger, a head, a metalhead, rocker, and him and his friends take over a radio station. You get some airplay. I mean, if you're older, like, you know, 60s, 70s, 80s, kid, you can understand how, you know, now I don't know that kids would understand that. Maybe going to a radio station to get some airplay. You know what Tuesday is also on uh, Twitter. You got that to look forward to. Thank you, Jack. Um, Let's see here. Thank you, Jack. Man. Name something more useful than John Kerry. Microsoft Flight Simulator. Here are more details still lacking on the Jellyfish UAP. But despite what is claimed here, what? Where is the actual raw footage? YouTube link is not the raw footage. Did I miss it? Also, raw footage is not video of a video, which by the looks of this is... They released the raw footage of a military filmed UAP incursion within a United States Joint Operation Base. This UAP of unknown origin displayed transmedium capability and has uh, been officially designated by the United States intelligence a- agencies as a UAP. Jellyfish UAP? Okay. It's awful tiny, it seems. Like just a drone. Probably a drone with somebody's laundry hanging off of it. You know? They put some aluminum foil around it, so it's we got some angles on it to make it all stealth. Probably not a UAP. I, you know, I don't. Sure, you know, ancient aliens. I'm all into that. It's I'm such a bundle of contradictions at times. I believe and then I don't believe. I believe and I don't believe. And lately anymore, I'm more on the. I don't believe most of the things that are presented to us anymore. I think back in the day, I don't know. Could be, maybe. Thank you, Jack. Damn. Tuesdays on Twitter. Oh, my. Bum, 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 bum. I love the artwork and the landscapes that people post on there. Germany. There's a picture of Germany. Um, I don't know where it is at. Question is, what is preventing you from moving to Germany? It's so pretty. Pelosi, Joe Biden has done a remarkable remarkable job as President of the United States. What do you think? <laughs> uh, what is the first movie you think of when you see Jeff Bridges, Ron? All the accounts reporting on the tunnels are CIA. I'm holding off a bit, says Gogo. The U.S. has to get rid of one state. Which one do you pick? I pick California. No disrespect to my Californian followers. Uh, If we had to get rid of one state. Hmm. 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 Well, where do we get rid of it to? Because I'd move Colorado to Mexico. I mean, if we could take a state and move it someplace... I'll take the whole state of Colorado and consider moving it to Mexico. Or where else would we do well? 
Frank Miller's training, so I'll share my Wolverine tribute I did for fun when I got assigned the reboot way back when. Very nice artwork. Coming up this week, right on the 10th, Marvel's Echo on Disney Plus. Where we now continue seeing the evolution of the Kingpin, Fisk, right? And he's going to be uh, the father figure to a character named Echo. Deaf Girl? And Daredevil is supposed to be a big part of it. We'll see. Ray Epps sentenced uh, the Justice Department sentenced Ray Epps no jail time, 100 hours of community service, a $500 fine, and a year of probation. Oh, eight, uh, that was on January 8th. Cartel members reportedly executing hostages in Ecuador. Great, we're flying south. That sucks. You know, Lord, we need a better world. We need a more perfect world. I mean, that we even have cartels anymore in certain countries. And yet, this video is now being blurred that I'm watching. And it's horrible. It looks like they are. I don't know what's going on, but it looks like they're they have executed somebody. Sad. Elon Musk says that all elections should have voter ID. Do you agree? Why is that a question? Why? Why is that even a question? That we would allow our government the the you know, we consider ourselves at one point the greatest nation on the earth, superpower. And we've allowed people to uh, put us in this kind of position. Pardon me. Let me put back on the music and let me take this call.
asked for a cargo mission. The ground crew is waiting for you in the parking to load the crates. Transporter from dispatch. Loading cargo. Please stand by. Transporter from dispatch. The cargo is on board. You are clear to taxi to the runway and take off.
Hello, pilot. Let's see what's on the books for you today. You are clear to start your engine. You're good to go. Contact the tower for clearance. Welcome back, Captain. It looks like the weather is perfect for flying. Let's get out of here.
devil's work is never done. My desperado, my only son. I give you strength, I give you hope. Can't give you justice, they gave you rope. Your last day, my only son. Pray to Jesus for all your word. It's your last day on God's green earth.
you're looking for a hold down boy I've seen the likes of you thinking that you're 100 proof whiskey shots fear back you think you got my game hacked didn't mama teach you right you're staring down a lonely night cause a girl can drink and hit the smoke bend the rules spit and joke but in her heart a princess lives no matter how much bull she gives so bring your pleas and how you do hold that door when i walk through cause if you wanna be my prince tonight you gotta treat me If you think we'll drink and drive, I'll hit the brakes and watch you fly. So back up off that left foot, I gotta see under that hood. I don't mind a little dirt, as long as you're not filled to hurt. Cause a girl can drink and hit the smoke, bend the rules, spit and joke. But in her heart, a princess hides, no matter how she acts outside. So bring her please and how you do, hold that dope when I walk through. Cause if you wanna be my prince tonight You gotta treat me Tulum is the site of a pre-Columbian Mayan walled city which served as a major port for Coba, in the Mexican state of Quintana Roo. The ruins are situated on 12-meter tall cliffs along the east coast of the Yucatan Peninsula on the Caribbean Sea in the state of Quintana Roo, Mexico. Tulum was one of the last cities built and inhabited by the Maya, it was at its height between the 13th and 15th centuries and managed to survive about 70 years after the Spanish began occupying Mexico. 
Old world diseases brought by the Spanish settlers appear to have resulted in very high fatalities, disrupting the society, and eventually causing the city to be abandoned. One of the best preserved coastal Maya sites, Tulum is today a popular site for tourists. Another wasted day, another wasted night, wasting opportunities, I'm wasting my life. Wasted my breath, telling you my dreams, cause you don't care, or so it seems. I wasted a smile. Get a chance when I even try for a romance. Wasted the moment that we shared. Looking in your eyes, it's like you were there. And I wasted money on your pretty face. And it seems there's nothing that I won't waste. Another wasted day, another wasted night. Wasted a life, some stupid song, and if it's worth doing, I'll do it wrong. I wasted my time playing this guitar. I'm wasting my time at another bar. Wasted a dance with some other girl, whiskey on ice. I'm giving it a swirl, and I'm now. Another wasted day, another wasted night, wasting opportunities, I'm wasting my life.
down the edges of your eye. You quit drinking whiskey. You took yourself a wife. But if you're really honest, you still think from time to time. You would have chosen different had you ever mapped your life. But you were just a boy in love. Your heart a broken compass that your brain couldn't adjust. A boy in love. You're just a boy in love. Cabins in your heart were impossible to fill, and you cut a path right through the lonely home you built. Retreated deeper, now you're dying on that hill, but you were just a boy. Just a boy in love. You were just a boy. Just a boy in
all responsibility Could never finish anything Judging yourself without mercy But after you abstain From guilt and pity And with a stroke of serendipity Well maybe they could prove themselves wrong And what be like They belong is a resort city located along the Caribbean Sea in the state of Quintana Roo, Mexico. It is part of the municipality of Solidaridad. As of 2020, the city's population was just over 300,000 people, a small yet thriving portion of which are foreign expats. Playa del Carmen is a popular tourist destination in Mexico's Riviera Maya region. Its current growth rate is set at 25% per year. According to the Guinness World Records, it one of Latin America's fastest growing communities. In 2016, the city was the 10th most popular international travel destination for US travelers, and over a million tourists passed through the city a year later. The main airport for Playa is the Cancun International Airport, which is around 70 kilometers away. This airport ranks 10th in terms of international passengers worldwide and is the second busiest in Mexico behind Mexico City. The area is known for its white sand beaches, blue turquoise waters, coral reefs, surrounding rainforests, and balnearios. The downtown area of the city revolves around Quinta Avenida, a busy pedestrian thoroughfare lined with many shops, clubs, and restaurants. The weather is hot year-round, with the summer and winter breaks being peak season for tourism.
Puerto Morelos is a town and seaport in Quintana Roo, Mexico's easternmost state, on the Yucatan Peninsula. The town is located in the northeast of the state, about 36 kilometers south of the resort city of Cancun, and about 30 kilometers north of the city of Playa del Carmen. Puerto Morelos merged with the village of Leona Vicario on December 6, 2015, to become the 11th municipality in Quintana Roo, separating from its former municipality of Benito Juarez. It has historically been the main port between the mainland of Yucatan and the island of Cozumel, and an automobile ferry used to run from Puerto Morelos to Cozumel. The town is named after independence leader José María Morelos. 100 meters offshore lies the Puerto Morelos portion of the Mesoamerican Barrier Reef System, designated as a national marine park in 1998 due to local environmental activists.
Museum is a non-profit organization based in Cancun, Mexico devoted to the art of conservation. The museum has a total of 500 sculptures, by a series of international and local sculptors, with three different galleries submerged between three and six meters deep in the ocean at the Cancun National Marine Park. The museum was thought up by Marine Park Director Jamie Gonzalez Cano, with the objective of saving the nearby coral reefs by providing an alternative destination for divers. It was started in 2009 and officially opened in November 2010.
I've been fit. 